Section four of Captain Billy's Whizbang, Volume two, number seventeen, february nineteen twenty one. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by H. M. Pecker. Captain Billy's Whizbang, Volume two, number seventeen, february nineteen twenty one by w h fawcett the wrong button in a crowded omnibus a stout woman vainly endeavoured to get her fare out of the pocket of her cloak which was tightly buttoned as a precaution against pickpockets after she had been working in vain for some minutes a gentleman seated on her right said please allow me to pay your fare the lady declined and recommenced her attacks on the pocket after these had continued for some little time, her fellow passenger said, "'You really must let me pay your fare. You have already undone my suspenders three times, and I cannot stand it any longer.' A woman is never so disappointed as when she asks a man to behave, and he behaves. "'Oh, dear, you hurt. Imagine the scene. A big, comfortable chair a beautiful girl snuggled down in it her head leaned back so that she is looking up into the face of the man who is bending so attentively over her now he reaches his arm around her her head is pressed against his heart speech at this time would be impossible listen we hear her struggled whisper oh dear you hurt in a low earnest voice he says well I simply cannot help hurting you a little bit. You don't mind that, do you? Again, we hear only silence. They seem perfectly contented. It is not long, however, that they remain in this position. He does not seem content with what he sees in her face. Her eyes are violent gray. He bends farther over so that he can see into, well, see into her mouth because, of course, it is the dentist repairing her teeth. Perhaps he was lucky. The worried countenance of the bridegroom disturbed the best man. Tiptoeing up the aisle, he whispered, "'What's the matter, Jock? Hai ye lost the ring?' "'No,' blurted out the unhappy Jock. "'The ring's safe enough. But, man, I lost my enthusiasm.' It's a sure sign of being in love if you shave twice. End of section four.